Hi everyone, I just wanted to do a video of how you can achieve the AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate in two weeks. So I just did it. I, I wrote the exam last week and I just got my certificate and it has been an incredible journey and I wanted to share it with you so that you can get certified as fast as possible for as little money as possible. So um, let me show you how the exam looks like a bit. So that's kind of like the other document that accompanies your uh, certification and the new version of the exam, which is the only version you will be able to do as of July, has four domains before it used to have five. And you can see here that I met all the four domains. Now, I want to give you some insights in the exam I got, which obviously will be different from the exam you get. But basically, I got, when it comes to cost, I was expecting questions about like the different support plans, like enterprise or business support plans or this kind of stuff. I got none of those questions. The questions about cost um, were more about like the different um, S3 bucket storage classes or, you know, that kind of um, cost questions. Um, then I was also, it was for me a surprise. I got many, many questions about AppSync and Direct Connect and none of the training resources um, I have been used had many resources about AppSync or at all and Direct Connect or BPM. So there were some, but not in the um, intensity of the questions I got asked. And then something that to me was also like big surprise was that I had to be able to understand an IAM policy, which I think it makes totally sense. And I was able to do, uh, but if if you don't even know what it is as I'm talking, you might want to check it out so that when you see the syntax, you're not uh, struck by surprise, right? So that's that's the goal. Um, so yeah, um, basically you also should know the exam costs like $150. So you want to pass it the first try. And that's what I'm doing this video to help you out. I first of all did um, the cloud uh, practitioner certification and unless you're very tight on budget, I would recommend you to do that because the cloud practitioner certification is more about knowing which AWS or, um, services are out there, whereas the cloud architect is more about how you actually combine them. I found it way more interesting, but, but I felt the other one was super necessary. And then I had been working on AWS for six months more, kind of like try out stuff. And then I, I decided to actually start studying for the solutions architect one, right? So I have been now working on AWS, I would say for kind of like a bit less than one year. Does it make sense? Yeah, and when you do the cloud practitioner one, you're gonna get a voucher. So you're gonna get a voucher for one free training exam, uh, which is shorter than the original one. So I thought, yeah, not too good actually, but, uh, but you see how the interface looks like and so on, so not bad. And, and that's the VR or something, you get a voucher for a 50% discount code. So um, I paid for the exam 75, uh, US dollars and not 150. So yeah, uh, it make makes sense for, for you too. What else am I going to show you? So yeah, let me show you the resources I use for training. If you're short on time, I will summarize it now in one sentence. So I would recommend Example, um, which you will find also for free on YouTube, but I'll recommend paying for it. It's only 20 US dollars with the offer they have all the time and you get some very interesting extras I'll show you and I will also recommend a cloud guru they have a seven day trial so even if you go for example um, because cloud guru costs 49 dollars a month the recurring subscription with example is like a one time so if you cannot afford it even like take the seven day trial uh, with your email because you can still watch the videos and then you have basically two awesome explanations of the same by two different people which will help you a lot understand it better so let me show you um, the cloud uh, first like the example so that's how the the website looks like um, they have an awesome instructor Andre Brown he actually I asked on Twitter how to prepare for the certification and he was so nice to point me out not to his website but to the free resources on YouTube because he did it for FreeCodeCam um, I guess you guys know FreeCodeCam it's an amazing place to learn to code totally for free I super admire them 
Um, and then they also like sponsored um, this training. So you have the cloud practitioner one. So if you don't have cloud practitioner, get um, that one first. Unless you know, unless you have like super lots of experience in other clouds, then you know doesn't make sense. Then they also have the associate architect one, so that's the one I got. Totally recommend. And then um, the developer one, which is probably the next one I'm gonna do at some point. We'll see. Um, so yeah, let me show you what's in there. Ah, and they also offer for Azure Oracle Cloud. I haven't done it. Cannot tell you. Um, yeah. So. Why did I pay 20 bucks? Well, I feel it added like lots of value because for instance, I could get the cheat sheets downloaded, which tells you like the most important information. So I could have them, you know, um, I still love studying from paper, so I could study from paper. And then they have these uh, flashcards that make sure you don't forget um, after watching a video, the most important concepts. And at the end you have the whole deck and you can study for it for your exam. Um, then they have um, space to put study notes to me, honestly, not that useful, but the next functionality, you're going to love it. Like quizzes after each video, definitely very useful. And then uh, the practice exam simulator, that's, that's really the best one. You get like lots of different co um, questions. I took it like the, the practice exam many times until I was consistently passing because, you know, for the AWS exam, you need to get from uh, from zero to 1000 points, you need to get at least 720. So it's not like 50%. You need to actually be quite, quite good at it, right? So this exam simulator helped me a lot. Uh, yeah, so I would definitely recommend it to you. Let me show you how it looks. Uh, I think I have it open here. Yeah. So let me go. For, so if you pay, you will get this one unlocked. So that's my screen. And then you see here what I was telling you, like those are the courses. So maybe let me open uh, this one and you see like three stars. The first stars is for watching the video, for passing the quiz and then for doing the flashcards. And here you have your whole deck of flashcards, which definitely help you study. And the same for the practice exam. Um, and then here you download the cheat sheets. The only thing, um, I feel there is a forum and I feel there could be better support. Like sometimes people point out errors in, you know, because AWS keeps like changing so much errors in the video or, you know, um, things that small mistakes. And I feel somebody should, you know, be reviewing the contents and the forum. So kind of feedback. Um, but for the rest is great. And I'm going to show you, I'm not going to do take the practice exam. And I'm actually going to show you like the console, which gives you like um, the details about the exams you have taken. So you see the last two exams kind of like I pass them, but uh, and this one I failed. So let me show you kind of the one I failed. And you will see that, I mean, these exams are very long. So actually kind of if you do review questions, you see the details and probably what I did is just like I did the half uh, of the exam. So, um, and, but it's very great. You see the questions and you see like why this answer is wrong and why you should have answered these. So there is like lots of detail on that. And, and then, uh, okay, sorry, I did not want to, I did not meant to go back. Uh, yeah, console again. And then what I also loved is um, this option of master your mistakes. So you can kind of like only redo the questions you got wrong, right? So each time there are less and less. I think that's um, super awesome. So let me go back to that exam. And another thing that I think it's super awesome is the overview. So you see which domain you are missing the most and within the domain, you know, the services that you already know quite well and the ones that you don't know. And you see, for instance, here, there was no question on AppSync. I got like two in my real exam. So that's kind of content that, you know, feedback, feedback. Um, yeah, you have, you need internet connection to watch the videos. That's um, another important thing. So you cannot do it offline, but you have the cheat sheets to study. Yeah, um, so that's all for example. Um, as I said, I think it's, um, there is a free video on YouTube. It's very affordable. Uh, it would be my, my first to go option. Then a second awesome resource to help you study is um, a cloud girl. So you probably already know about it. 
it's a bit more expensive. You need, uh, it costs $49 a month. And then they have business plan. So if your company has it, awesome, awesome. If not, you can still do this seven day trial I was mentioning. So how does it look like and what you're getting? So that's how it looks like on the eight side. It's, I would say it's way more rounded. They also have Google Cloud, Azure, and some Linux. And I heard that they acquire or partnered with Linux Academy. So I hope that the Linux stacks go bigger and bigger because I feel like knowing Linux is so, so important for, you know, all these um, cloud related things. Um, but, and they also have like WhatsApp on AWS. So they kind of have these news. It, it's, it's a m much bigger ecosystem, but I'm doing the video only for preparation of the exam. So, um, in that sense, it's quite similar. Only you don't have, um, the flashcards, you don't have quizzes. You just have the videos in here, which they get like updated constantly. So that's something I also appreciate. Um, then there is the forum, same thing again. I don't feel they check the forum enough. There is a very big community of like students which might answer your questions, but since it's such an expensive service, I would expect the team to, you know, check the forums more often if they do it at all. I, I don't know. Um, I just felt, you know, my questions remained unanswered. They had two weeks. Yeah. Um, yeah, so um, maybe the thing that's cool is the practice exam, and that's what I want to show you. So they also have um, this practice exam, but um, it doesn't have, for instance, the option to master your mistakes. Um, but you can see, though, like the exams you passed and, and the questions, and, and that I definitely feel is um, it's useful to kind of like um, to help you study and they also give you like, you know, you finished early, maybe you should have invested more time and then, you know, like they break down the questions in each of the domains and they also provide you like a much shorter explanation on why these are not the other. Um, yeah, so that's basically all I, I wanted to show you um, on the business side. So that's um, I was talking here on the individual plan, which was mine. Um, and that's the business one. So the business one has something which I really like, which is the cloud playground, because on the individual one, you get what they call hands-on labs. I mean, that's not really hands-on. That's like still watching the screen of somebody who is doing it. But unless you have your own AWS account and you do it, you are not really learning. So go get your account, do it. But if you want something like quick labs for um, Google Cloud, that's this new playground they are talking here about. Then they have like certification accelerator, which is basically, you know, this kind of pressure of those are your learning goals. You should go for it. I myself don't really need it, but might be useful for you. And then they have other things like, um, um, like as a company, you can draft your own curriculum or have a leaderboard again, please don't. Um, or even if you have like a team, you can see how your team is doing to like help motivate them or pressure them. Um, yeah, so um, like it might be an option if you're a company. Two other resources I checked was LinkedIn Learning. Um, I, I like LinkedIn the network. Um, I like the trainings for soft skills. I felt it was a bit weak. I also checked some trainings on Udemy. Uh, I, I purchased like one, uh, which I, which I, um, which I still have another one, which I return it. Um, honestly, the quality of exam pro and cloud guru much higher. So go for it. And then the O'Reilly media library, which my company, big pharma, we have, um, still, I feel it's a, it's a very good, com um, uh, it's a very good quality of library. Uh, if you are more like the book study kind of person. Uh, and if not, they have in live sessions, um, which I think they are very good. Um, it's only that, you know, I studied very intensely for two weeks. So I was working kind of eight to five, then hanging around with my friends from like five to nine. And then from 9 p.m. to 12 p.m., I was doing my study. So um, yeah, I wouldn't have had time to really like attend an instructor led course, but it might be a good option for you. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think that's, uh, what I wanted to let you guys know and hope you find this video useful and best of luck in getting your AWS certification.